All right, today is October 11th, 2014, and the last test I did, I found some rock phosphate, and that was pretty radioactive. It was, it went up to over like 330 something CPMs, where regular CPM in the burbs of Cleveland, Ohio is 30 CPMs. So I'm going to do another test here, but this I'm going to get closer because be, before I had it elevated about an inch above the rock phosphate. So what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to put down a piece of paper so I don't contaminate the unit. And see what it does. Remember, it's a 30 second average, so we need at least a half a minute. Now I've read where it actually could contain uranium or thorium. Sometimes it contains radium or polonium. You would need a spectro spectrometer to identify the isotope. This is just counting the CPMs, which it's not going anywhere near 200. So. It, the superphosphate is definitely not as radioactive as the rock phosphate. All right, here's the rock phosphate. I brought it back out of retirement. Let's get a good read on this. Now remember, these isotopes are coming off by little shards of metal. Now if lead could be transported up out of the soil from the roots into the plant, maybe more leafy material, leafy vegetables than peppers say, if lead could get it from the soil into the plant, why cannot the radiation? This is definitely more active than the superphosphate. Just as bad, just as worse. Well, that's some powerful fertilizer. It's probably giving the plants cancer. But since they only grow for a season, they end up as compost probably.
Probably gives the vegetables a headache. Well, it's a little bit higher than it was the first time, but not by much. But what we gotta do, what you gotta do, is start challenging conventional culture and uh, leaving this conventional system behind and try to start living life with an organic slant because that's the only way it's gonna happen. When all the conventional food produce is sitting rotting on the shelves, everybody starts buying the organics, then maybe the people that produce this stuff, when they find out they can make some money on it, they'll switch their ways. Other than that, the places will go out of business. It's all in your hands. They can't force you to buy anything. We buy what we, what we want. And when you find out that this is what they're probably most likely growing your vegetables in, hopefully you'll change your mind. <laughs>